start our Phuket Old Town tour in the most famous street, the Soy Ramonet. And once, a really long time back, this was the red light district of Phuket Old Town. But now it's not a red light district anymore, but people still show up because as you can see, it's the most Instagrammable street of Phuket Old Town. And now we are early, so we're the only ones, like surprisingly. But if you come here in the evening, oh, packed, packed with thousands of people. Holy shit. We have been to a lot of different islands, a lot of touristy places, a lot of crazy beaches. But I think this Phuket Old Town is our kind of place. It's super laid back, it is so beautiful. And all the streets, like we never believed that this would be in Thailand. It's like one of the most cutest town we have ever visited. And look, look, Mira, just like just when you just walk, you found some random cute stuff, like just cuteness overloaded. Look at this, there are all minions here. You man, like everywhere around this town you see such a creative things. Even yeah. the buildings, we will show you one later. I love the building and I've never seen it before in any country and I think it's just so cool. It's not just the Soy Ramonet, but it's like super popular and Instagrammable. Like all the streets here are really beautiful and they are so colorful. Like behind me is a pink pharmacy. It's like really bright pink. It's so cool. A lot of times uh, tourists are staying near the famous beaches, but we chose to stay in the old town, which was the best decision ever. Behind me, you see the Promtep clock tower, and this clock tower is built in 1900, but until 1976, this clock didn't have a clock. They didn't have the money for it. Really? Yeah, so it took them 76 years to, uh, to get the money. In the end, I think the Lion Clubs donated the money to them so that everyone could see what the time is. What time is now? We are now at the Memory at On On Hotel and this hotel is famous because of, again, the film, the movie, The Beach. The Beach from Leonardo DiCaprio. In the movie they say that this hotel was located in Bangkok, but as you can see it's not. It's here in Phuket Old Town and he stayed here. And it's really funny because a lot of things in this area, for example, Koh Phi, Maya Bay, are really, really famous because of that one movie. So really cool is that you can actually go into the hotel. You don't have to stand in the front. And I think we just go walk around and see yeah. until they stop us. <laughs> Maybe we can tell some uh, random room number and have uh, the buffet breakfast. What do you think, Nero? Just while we were walking on the streets, we saw a little alley and we, we just went inside and we found a Chinese pilgrim temple. It looks pretty cute. And it's just us here and we also saw a lot of graffiti with Chinese soldiers carrying the king on their shoulder, I think. Or maybe it uh, some, represents something completely different. Did you tell about this house? Yeah. It's just this beautiful blue house with all dragons on it. And so I think pretty. maybe it's uh, for some of the pilgrim. Pilgrims, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Maybe they sleep here. I, I don't understand. Why do why do we don't put these beautiful things on our houses? Why our houses always have to be grey and depressing? Yeah. And so it has to be the same uh, pattern same house. Same pattern. Everything has to be the same. I think it's just so funny. Like all these uh, the soldiers, soldiers, within Chinese soldiers. They are all like kind of the same different hair, but just this one has his teeth out. I think it must be kind of a joke from the guy who made this. He needs to go to the dentist. <laughs> yeah, it's really cute. So really everywhere. <laughs> So really everywhere around Phuket Old Town you find this hipster coffee cafe and uh, this one uh, we pass by almost every day and it's always packed. So I really feel like this coffee hipsters now sitting at the coffee bar and watching them how they make the coffee and it is just an art in itself. Yeah. They measure everything. Measure Water, everything, the everything. time, everything. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. crazy. I think when we come back to the Netherlands we also have this coffee factory in our house. I think On so. every holiday, Adi adds something to his coffee. I need this thing. Yeah. And because the coffee was so good, we decided to stay a bit longer and get some work done. However, working in a cafe and being on a public Wi-Fi can be a little bit tricky. And this is where the sponsor of this video comes into the picture, Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN or a virtual private network company. 
that keeps you safe and private by covering up everything what you do online. So even if you're on a public Wi-Fi, you can access your bank account without any risk. Having a service like Surfshark is a must for us. We are on the road all the time and the last thing we would want to be worried about are hackers. Surfshark is one of the Abby, best... Abby, did you already share the best parts of using Surfshark? What is that? No, 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 wait. One thing, one thing. Oh! So, <laughs> sorry Adi. So really for me, the coolest thing about Surfshark is that you can change your location from your device to any country in the world. So you can get the best deals when shopping online by just turning on your Surfshark VPN. Or you can change your location so that you have access to all the Netflix shows around the world. I wanted to see Bon Bini Holland, a really fun Dutch movie, but of course- Not just, me. No, yeah, no, but I just needed something funny Dutch, you know. And of course we couldn't watch it here in Thailand, but then I thought, ah, I can change my location to the Netherlands. And what was there? Bon Bini Hollands. And Adi also really enjoyed the movie. No, that is ah, not true. He did, he loved, no. he was laughing all the time. <laughs> However, if you don't have a VPN, we highly recommend Surfshark. Surfshark is also the only VPN who provides one account for unlimited devices. So we literally pay even less than $1 per device. And the best thing of all, we can offer you an 83% discount and a three months for free if you use our code, let's meet. And you'll also get a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's literally no risk at all. If you want to know more and be safe online, just click on the link in the description below. Thanks, Sir Shark, for sponsoring this video. Let's go back to Phuket Old Town. My Let's go! Town in Thailand. It's 10 o'clock, Duna time! <laughs> a really famous place here in Phuket Old Town is John Donut, and they have one signature donut, the maple bacon donut, but we didn't take that one. We took the Nutella donut and the lemon meringue donut. I think I would love it. I really like donuts. It's a good donut. It's good quality. Speaking of dessert, yesterday we also went to this crazy place and they sell something which we have never tried before. It's like the next level dessert. And Mira is busy smashing all the donuts. I have to test them so I can recommend which donut to take. The Nutella one is really good. Yeah? You don't really want to see how it's made because there's so much butter and so much sugar. <laughs> so guess whose choice it was to get to eat here? Yeah. Here it is. I have the honeycomb one, so it's like the bread the toast with the vanilla ice cream and honeycomb. It already looks amazing. Now it's time to try. Mm. So I got the one with the Thai tea ice cream and I've never tried Thai tea in my entire life. So I don't know if it's gonna be a regret or a success. Let's try. It's crazy good. The texture here, it's all made up of butter and sugar. But it's next level, next, next level. I think it's one of the coolest dessert I've tried, one of the most uh, innovative. So simple, but so cool. We found one, and all the street art you will find here, they are made by uh, national, international, all kind of street art performers. They came here to make all this nice, beautiful 3D graffiti. Phuket Old Town is the perfect place to buy all of your souvenirs, to buy all of your nice, cute jewelry. Jewelry? Cute jewelry. <laughs> so Phuket Old Town is really the place to be to buy all your nice souvenirs. There are just, just cute shops everywhere and they're filled with all this stuff which you just want to buy everything. I'll buy a cap here. Oh yeah, and Adi is cap. on a mission, he wants to buy a cap. And also Ooh. a coffee grinder. There's also really cool clothes. Oh, they have the cutest baby clothes here. And it's even pretty good quality. It's so nice we start a web shop? Well, maybe we have to get a baby, otherwise I cannot shop this. <laughs> Little food items, you know? Like, yeah, probably. I've seen this a lot of videos on TikTok, people who build their, like this whole house with all these little mini tiny things. Here, barbecue. 
we could have done our food tour here. Yeah. Oh, there's the mango sticky rice. This is where we were this morning. And it's not even busy now. So if you're following us already for a bit longer, you maybe would know that in Bangkok we dressed ourselves up in like traditional Thai clothes and we explored Bangkok and really that was amazing. You really have to, it's so cool. And uh, you can do the same here, but in a traditional Baba Yaya clothes. And you can rent clothes from them and then you can go to all these nice spots and make photos with these beautiful clothes. It is, it is so unbelievable like how pretty stuff do they have like if it didn't have to continue our journey like we would also maybe take some uh, souvenirs back to Netherlands but unfortunately we don't want to carry all of these things with us but look we found another art museum and it turns out it's a cafe yeah, it's crazy there's just so much to see this <laughs> Something new. You just have to look around and uh, really find those hidden gems. And welcome to the best place in Hoppecat Old Town or hotel. We are staying in the Shunli Hotel and it's really, I think, one of the best hotels we've ever stayed in. The breakfast is just next level. And the host. The host is so friendly. It's the first time they can really actually help us with the questions we have. And they have a 9.8 rating on booking.com. Have you ever seen that? I never saw that before. But it, you cannot give any lower rating, I think. Take off our shoes. So everybody's shoes stay outside to keep the place clean. Salavika. Salavika. With this oasis of peace here inside. We are staying here for six days, six nights. It's a perfect place to stay. And the room is big enough that you can also just get some work done. And the best thing, it's so cheap. We're in like super high season and we pay 30 euros a night. For two people. For two people. So like including breakfast. Including breakfast. So it's like fifteen euros per person, including breakfast. Like an host. In the middle of a beautiful old town. In the yeah, it's, it's like crazy. in the middle of the beautiful old town. Like it's just there the old town. You step out and you're in the old town and yeah, I think even hostels are not that cheap. So if you just go a little bit outside of the old town, you find everywhere these really local places with Thai food. And we tried already one before and it was just delicious and super cheap. And today we're going here again, so you can see what kind of food you can expect. I was literally looking for a place like this where you can just pick your own two, three or four different types of uh, food items with rice. And uh, something crispy. Oh, I'm so excited for this food. So all this food is vegan and we just paid 180 baht. 150. 150 baht. And if you go to like a really hipster vegan restaurant, you pay like 300 baht for one dish, you know, and it's like half of it. And okay, I have to try it first. Oh, it is spicy, but this is like the max I can handle to enjoy it. It reminds me a little bit of the pork, you know, the, the like the sweet pork. Oh, it is like a barbecue flavored thingy. Oh, it's really cool. Mm. I think it's one of the top three or four Thai dishes we have had. Another must-do in Fukatol town is a visit to the Sunday night market. From 4 p.m., Thalang Road turns into a busy road where people sell souvenirs, clothes, art, and of course food. You can enjoy a delicious Thai street food while watching a live performance. But be warned, you won't be the only one enjoying Phuket Old Town on a Sunday night market. So this is the Instagram versus reality time. This street is just crazy. It is super cute, insanely cute. The cutest street I've ever seen, but everyone thinks it. Yeah. <laughs> no! That's sad, now it's gone. I just want to say my most favorite thing ever. Good. No! Five second rule, Nira. No, I'm not going to eat Ten it from second the floor. Rule. No. We are having uh, our evening dinner as uh, some smoothie bowls because we were just craving after a spicy lunch we were just kept craving for something sweet but also a little bit healthy and we are stopped at this place called uh, they have very very innovative name called chair. Did you say chair? Yeah, so many times. Chair? Oh. Is it what you were missing for so long? No. Mm. Mm. 
after some amazing smoothie bowl we are enjoying the evening lights so Mira what do you think about the Phuket Old Town? Oh, this place is just so cute oh and you look so tall here. yeah and you can just walk walk around for yeah. like a whole day I think we actually did that we today. did that actually yeah uh, so uh, yeah for make sure you visit this place if you're staying on the other side in Phuket you also visit this quiet peaceful yeah. hipster place or just size. stay here we or stay here yeah like just as soon as we just walk out we have beautiful streets beautiful neighborhood all the nice it's almost like a christmas feeling with all the lights on so hope that you enjoyed the video and see you Enjoy from the, the next, next adventures bye